Hi, I'm John from Just Whiskey. If you like today's show, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And consider becoming a Patreon with the link in the description below. Thanks to all the Patreons that I do have that help support this channel. Much appreciated. And as a Patreon, you get exclusive Patreon reviews. And they are filling up quickly. All right. Um... Today we are going to review and compare, but we're going to be reviewing the Talisker X Parlay, non-age stated, which I believe came out in 2023, um, and uh, it's a limited edition, non-age stated. The ABV is a little bit higher than the Talis than most Taliskers, um, so this ABV is 48. Point six percent abv talisker does not mention whether they chill filter or add coloring they probably do both um, color wise on both of these they're very close maybe the talisker x parlay is a tinge hint darker but they're very close I would assume there's some coloring added, but I don't know about chill filtration, especially with the 48.6% uh, ABV on here. Um, and this particular limited release is not available in the United States. You have to buy it overseas in the UK, European market. Um, so it's a limited edition and it's finished in X cognac casks. It's actually XO cognac casks. And each bottle represents a donation to Parlay to support ocean preservation. Same thing um, in support of the wild sea forest. So a portion of the proceeds go to support um, the ocean natural forest, which we, the consumer, are paying for. <laughs> Don't make no mistake about it. Um, Price-wise, it's about $75, um, the Parlay, where you can still get the Talisker 10 for about $50 in my area. Um, but I am a Talisker fanboy, and I have to, uh, I feel a need to try most, if not all, of their releases. And I'm not disappointed in this at all, um, even at the price. Okay, so... Hopefully that helps. We're going to get into the review. Um, I've reviewed the Talisker 10 and many other Talisker products many, many times. So I'm just going to use the Talisker 10 as a kind of a reference. I'm not going to go into the, the full review of that. We're going to focus mainly on this Talisker X Parlay. So the nose is much more prominent than the Talisker 10. Um, it's a richer nose. You're getting the peat. There's a lot going on here. Um, and, and like any any and most Taliskas I have, especially the Talisker 10 and even this X Parlay, they're chameleons. Um, I've compared these a few times now over the last week. And it's challenging because um, they really um, develop as as time goes into the glass. So um, it's it's challenging, but but rewarding nonetheless. So on the nose, you get in the peat. It's a rich, full, inviting nose. A little bit of medicinal in, it, medicinal in there. Fermented fruits, a little bit of wet hay, a little vegetal even. But also too, you're getting, there's some underlying fruits in there as well. More like berry fruits. All right, on the palate. Very enjoyable. Sweet, dry, not as sweet as the Talisker 10. Dry. There is the, the fruit and berry notes are in there in the background, but they're there. Also, I'm getting a little bit of wine notes and some cocoa notes. 
in there. The finish is a solid medium. Um, the oak spices and the traditional uh, Talisker pepper notes are there, but they're a little more integrated. Um, where the Talisker 10 is a bit more of a, of a blast. Um, hmm. Talisker 10. This is not easy, folks. <laughs> and I've, I've done this several, a few times, like I said, over the past week. And, uh, it's really hard for me to come to a, a conclusion. That's so much of chameleons that they are. Um, generally speaking, I think the Talisker 10 is a little, has a little more sweetness there, a little more spice, a little more pepperiness. Um, and obviously the Talisker 10 is a 10 year old. Um, so you'd probably expect a little more oak spice in there. Um, that doesn't mean that this Talisker X probably doesn't have some older juice in there. By no means does this taste youthful or spirity. It's really well done. At the end of the day, from my experience, it's not even comparing apples and oranges. It's comparing apples and apples. So I'll say the Talisker 10 is like a Macintosh apple and the Talisker X Parlay is like a honey crisp. Okay, so they're, they're two apples. On any given day, you might, you might prefer one over the other. Um, you're paying, again, you're paying 50% more for the, this Talisker um, X Parlay. Um, so it's us that's contributing to the uh, ocean forest. Um, I really enjoy them both. Um, today, and all week, it's been so hard to pick a favorite. But the nose on, on the Parlay is much more pronounced. Score-wise, taking everything, putting everything into perspective, um, Talisker X Parlay, um, if I came across another bottle, I would buy, I would buy another bottle of it. So I, I am enjoying it. I am a Talisker fanboy. Score-wise, I'm going to give the Talisker X Parlay an 8 out of 10, okay? And the Talisker 10, uh, I've called it my Whiskey of the Year um, in the past. So um, check out my reviews to find out my score on that. Um, apples and apples, folks. Um at the end of the day, um, I'm always going to buy the Talisker 10. Um, if this X Parlay was the same price, um, yeah, any given day I could enjoy each one of these, either one of these, equally. But um, but yeah, I, I'm thoroughly enjoying this Talisker X Parlay. Um, it's, it's a really nice whiskey. Eight out of ten. If you like today's show give it a thumbs up like and subscribe consider becoming a patreon with the link in the description below hats off to you all and take care folks